Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sav if you're new. Today we are continuing our life and death rags to riches. I'm so excited. There's so much that we have to do in this one. We left off the last episode with quite the hefty to-do list, so I'm excited to do it all today. It rained a little bit this morning. It's super windy and cold outside, so I didn't even bother taking off my Christmas PJs this morning because who would want to <laughs> on a day like that? They're so freaking comfy. This is the first time I've gotten like a matching set, like a Christmas PJs matching set top and bottom, and it's it's, I, I haven't taken them off. <laughs> Anyways, enough about my personal life. Let's get into it, shall we? All right, here we are. I thought that we could start off the episode with a little bit of building. We have so much money now, $9,000 to be exact. So I kind of want to spruce up our house a little. I want to give us a living room and kind of like make her little office area. Oh. Yeah, we gotta fix that too. Uh, make her office area like its own separate space. So what I think I'm gonna do is extend this out and then <clears throat> let's see here. I'm gonna move this uh, right there and then this here so that it's not like going out of the wall. And then um, let's see, we're gonna need to boop. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna put a wall he no here. Okay, so she has her own office space now. And then actually, maybe we should just move the rug closer that way. Bring that in one. And then it looks like we might have enough room for a living room now. The bedroom, I'm not really that worried about, but we could like block this off now. This is so weird. I'm so used to doing open concept homes, but sometimes it's, it's fun to not, you know? <clears throat> okay, so bedroom can stay the same for now. The trees are the trees are going in through the window. How did I not notice that before? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna move these trees out by the other trees. Okay, can move this over here. All right, now. All right, I'm gonna be using the same door from the pack. Let's just put, yep, that works fine. All right, cool. Now we have a living room space. How exciting. We could probably make the bathroom a little bit bigger too, to be honest. It's so freaking small, it barely fits the shower. Okay, let me filter by life and death again. And then let's go to like couches and stuff. So we have a couple options. That's obviously not an option. Um, that one is super modern. And then we have this one, which is very similar to the one from Cottage Living. But yeah, I think we should use this in what color we have a lot of like this like teal color going on in the house should we i also i still don't really view her as like a, a tv person so like i don't know maybe we can put the couch against the wall and just have let's do another one of these rugs because they're so pretty and then maybe like a chair and a table we do have some coffee table we have this one this looks like the other glass one that we have in the game, except more plain. And then we have this end table. Not bad, not bad. Okay, let's see. This, I don't know if I want to use this. It's kind of big. I could size it down, but well, that actually doesn't look too bad. And if I center the rug underneath it, okay. It's not terrible. I just wish there were some windows. There's absolutely no windows in this living room now. Oh, maybe we should do a square rug instead. Yeah, I think I like that better. Rule of thumb, always put the front feet of your furniture on the rug. <laughs> At least that's what I read. And then see here what swatch oh the swatches on this one aren't as pretty that looks kind of good okay now i really don't like this end table all right we're going for something else there's this one from the movie stuff pack or whatever movie hangout pack um oh the paranormal one Ooh. okay hang on a minute it's the perfect size that doesn't look bad there's a lot going on but i kind of like it where is that one lamp with all of like the this one from vampires maybe okay what if i close that wall off and then get a mm, this open like glass door situation looks kind of cool 
uh, to lead into the the kitchen, maybe. And then we can put a chair right here. Okay, so we've got a rocking chair. We've got this modern one, which doesn't really go. And then this one. I think I like the rocking chair though. That's dope. It'll be behind the door. Maybe we can move it over one more time. I look weird right there. Oh, wow. These swatches are so good. Ooh, I love this dark red one. That's beautiful. We'll have to scooch it up a little. Okay. We also have this poof. This is a this is a nice poof. It's it's quite large. We could put this in here to tie in the green in the table. I don't know. Maybe not. Oh my god. We already only have $4,000. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, I'm definitely getting more of these roses. Okay, that like blends in. Oh, that ties in the green in the table. Okay, I don't hate that. I'll grab more candles. Gotta have candles. And then um, what to do to fill up the other space. I think that maybe we can like bring the office in one. Yeah, I maybe move the bathroom or make the bathroom a couple tiles bigger. Okay, and then over here, oh gosh, I don't know, um, a storage cabinet, a bookshelf. Oh my god, we did get some bookshelves in Life and Death. Oh, that's amazing. Would it look weird if I just had it like in the corner like that? The doors are so much shorter than it, but... Or should I just... Let's see. That looks a little weird too. I think I kind of like it at an angle. It's it's cramped in here. It is cramped, but I, I like the vibes. It's not like this lot is very big, so... Ooh, did we get any mirrors in the new pack? We did. This one. We could do like a little two mirror thingy. Um... It's like offset them a little definitely change the color and that goes with the gray and the rug but i kind of like the bronzy or should we put some kind of picture up here okay maybe we can do one mirror another one of these oh they have matching frames Ooh, that's cool okay so like a picture a mirror and then what do we have for a wall oh um no wall decor what's this since you've been gone is this like a oh i think it's for incense that's neat oh you can buy a deck what hmm interesting mournful melodies music box oh my god does this play music okay i'm putting that on the right here Ooh, maybe i should put the incense thing here too i was just looking for more wall decor <laughs> we got all this stuff oh geez what to put what to put nectar bottle finely aged nectar bottles oh my god that's so cool oh a bar cart could work because we do need to work on our mixology skill oh my god there's a new fireplace oh whoa look at that thing wow beautiful gorgeous lovely okay i absolutely love these tarot card wall arts i'm gonna put the mirror hmm how do i want to like lay this out i want like a little gallery wall you know okay that doesn't look too bad Ooh. <laughs> what's this oh okay maybe we should do like another one but size it down okay i'll see how that looks in a minute we are running low on cash so <laughs> Uh, I do want to put some, uh, windows on this wall in the kitchen. I'm looking at these panels and I don't really like them anymore, to be honest. The kitchen's kind of the last thing I'm worrying about right now. Let's get a nice full-length mirror for this wall over here. This one's cool. Uh, what kit is that? Is that growing together? Maybe it should be a different color than the bookshelf. Black. Then this needs to go somewhere else, because, uh... She can't get in the door. Okay, I'm running out of space here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna have to like squish these more together. Okay, really not a fan of the kitchen, but we'll definitely work on that at some point. Okay, and there you have it. Let's have a look inside. I guess I could put some windows here by the front door so that we do get some natural light in the living room, but here we are. Oh my gosh. How cozy. I love it. I love it so much. Um, the, the, there's just a lot of doors. I think these doors are very bulky. They kind of uh, steal the show, but that's okay. So here's our really teeny, tiny, cozy bedroom. Our pathetic bathroom. At least it's a little bit bigger now. Our office. 
We definitely need some bookshelves and decorations in here, but it looks good for now. And then over here, we've got the two double doors walking into the kitchen. All right, cool. Okay, so I already forgot what was on my to-do list, if I'm being honest. We were working on errands. We were working on our bucket list. We were working on our aspiration, which... Our aspiration's kind of completing itself. All we have to do is wait for the money to start rolling in for the books. So we need to find Deimos for the Alice's Sorrow quest. We need to deliver a death flower. Oh yeah, we are waiting for that to sprout. It is right here. Orchid, death flower, and pomegranate. Okay, well, let's take care of these needs first of all. I'm gonna get her to go to sleep. We've got work in 12 hours. I really wish we had more time. I feel like work takes up a lot of our time, but that's very realistic, isn't it? And wow, we, we actually spent all of our money. That's insane. But look at us. We actually have a house now, a proper house with, with bedrooms. Two bedrooms to be exact <laughs> and a pretty decently sized kitchen. Oh my gosh. All right, sorry to cut your sleep short. Let's get you up. Let's get you to have something to eat. Pancakes, why not? It's Wednesday. Okay, it looks like this did sprout, but it is just an orchid. So I think we gotta wait for the next batch or the batch after that to get a death flower. Look at her, she's eating breakfast in her rocking chair. Oh my God, she is such a vibe. Oh, the incense thing, it's just automatic. Oh, that's cool, you don't have to put anything in it. We do need some art on this wall too. This feels really cluttered compared to over here, but. Yay! She's vibing. How exciting is that? Improving while I still can. Lydia knows her time in this world is limited, but that's not going to stop her from continuing to develop. Leveling up skills will help her seize the day, however long or short her life ends up being. Brutal. Seriously, girl, if you don't start putting your dishes in the trash or in the sink, I'm gonna start getting really mad. Okay, she's in a great mood for work. Uh, what just happened? What just happened? Ooh, look at the money rolling in. So we only need... $200, $200 more dollars in royalties to finish our aspiration. Look at us go. <laughs> I'm so excited. What is this? Ew, son. Oh my God, girl, please. And she's underprepared. I forgot she got the overachiever trait in the last episode. So we kind of got to deal with that now, but that's okay. Okay, it looks like we got the single and loving, loving it lifestyle. <laughs> I swear a Sim is single for two seconds and they're single and loving it, never fails. Never freaking fails. Oh my god, it's water conservation day, so we can't even take a shower. Can we even go to the bathroom? Okay, well, good. All right, well, go potty, have a snack, and then go to bed. I know, I know, this is so exciting. She couldn't even flush. Oh, this is so sad. I'm really, really feeling this, uh, this, uh, fog. Hey! It's such a, it's such a nice touch. It really is. I... I would not come to this doorstep. Ain't no way. Girl, really? You have a trash can? I give up. I give up. She's probably like, why do I have to put it in the trash can? They always mysteriously end up in there anyways. Whatever. Why are you up? Oh, she stinks. Well, I'm sorry, but you can't take a shower. Maybe go for a jog. And then by the time you get back, the water will be turned back on. Thank God. Right on time. Ghost night at the bar. Want to hang out? What bar? Eight bells, I don't know what that is. Fitness level four, that's what I'm talking about. Hey, wait, we're by the well. We might as well make a wish. Where, Where's homegirl at? Why don't I see her anywhere? That's weird. I thought she was always over there guarding the well. We do need to level up our charisma skill. So let's uh, let's just practice our speech in the mirror really quick. We need to level it up for, uh, for work. What do we got here? Pomegranate, okay. Death flower better be next. That's all I got to say about that. Okay, perfect. Level two, you're done. All right, go harvest that pomegranate. Let's get some food in you. I love how she always eats in her rocking chair. That is so sweet. Oh my God, we did it. We did it, we did it, we did it. Our aspiration, it's done. Lydia just achieved her dream of knowing all there is to know about ghosts and living to write about it. Trey earned Ghost Whisperer. Ghost Whisperers have access to special interactions to discuss their eerie findings and publish works. They have a much easier time making friends and more. 
With ghosts, they will also get particularly excited while encountering ghosts of all kinds, grim and even crows. What's this? No regrets? With each moment cherished and no regrets holding Lydia back, she can now move on to the great beyond whenever Lydia decides it's time to leave as a ghost. Okay, Lydia now also has extended lifespan as a living sim so that there's ample time to save her life to its fullest. So we have an extended lifespan, but we're marked for death. Okay. All right. Dope. Stoked for you, Lydia. You freaking did it. Let's look at our soul's journey. Wow. We're halfway through. That's amazing. We're halfway through and we've only done two things on the bucket list. Or was it one? Man, I don't remember. I don't remember. Man, we are so up for a promotion. We just need to get our fitness up. Okay. 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 That's the priority. We also need to go to the crypt. We need to find Deimos. Okay, let's go do that now. I know that she's hella tense, but some things just can't wait. I love that there's a convenient little crypt over here right by our house. Oh, hey, Waylon. We have absolutely no romance with you anymore, but hello. Tell ghost stories. Oh my God, help. Okay, explore. This better be easy, finding this dude. What the heck is that? Hold on. What is this? Get this thing out of here also increases the spiritual serenity of the house slightly. Oh my God. I don't like this. Do you guys see this thing? It's really dark, so it might be hard to see. So look at it. If someone left that at my grave, yeah, no. Oh my God. Deimos, son of Alice, skeptical genius and macabre, lived a full life and passed away as an elder from death by cow plant. His very last words, uh, as he accepted his fate of getting swallowed whole was sentenced. Sentence? Whoa. Okay, I'm gonna remove this doll because... Uh, yeah, what's this from? Strange inspiration from euphoric presence. Oh, she just kicked it. Whoa, okay. Um, so what's up, Waylon? I don't know what Purchase Juarez is, but I'm really curious. His last name is Juarez. Oh, Purchase Wares. Oh! It's Waylon Wares. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Yes, I am. It looks like he has two tarot cards as well. I don't know if we have those, so I'm going to buy them both. And also, what does a soul do? What is this? Okay, I guess let's buy one. Ooh, Grim Deluxe Ascendant Crow. Hailing straight from Grim's secret aviary, these immortal Corvids are ready to dazzle, delight, and engage in all manner of deviousness with you. Show your crow affection, plot with them, send them on recon missions, or help them learn to mimic with you. Just avoid provoking them. Doing so risks life and limb. Bet. 900 bucks. Okay. Cool. It looks like those two are new. And Waylon is gone. Okay. Find Freddy. Where's he at? He has forgotten his sim nature, but as they say, it takes a village to raise a child. Find Freddy the specter by the playground in the center of Crow's Crossing. Ah, I know exactly where that is. I know what a specter is. Uh, it is these over here. Let's see if either of these are Freddy. Chat. Wait a minute. Is it the one that I have to like ask about Alice's sorrow? See catharsis? Where's the third one? What does that do? See catharsis. Has to be consoled. Okay. She is about to pass out. So I will stop for now. Let's get some rest. Hopefully this grows a death flower by tomorrow. I'm staring at it intensely. Ooh, another gift. That's what I like to hear. Yes! Give me, give me the death. Dang it, she's too uncomfortable. Okay, no worries. Go pee. Go piss, girl. You can make the toilet your heirloom. That's insane. Okay, harvest death flower. Wow, that couch is really, really blue in the daytime. All right, food. I wanna take a vacation day today. I want to get our fitness skill up and then, um, how come we can't take a vacation day? I really don't understand. We could call in fake sick. I don't know what that does for our performance level. Death obsessed order member. I know who that is. I'm going to invite her over real quick before we go to work. Oh, <laughs> half the people we know are ghosts. That's actually really funny. Um, hello. Why is she in our relationship panel anymore? Gosh, darn dude. Gosh darn. I don't get it. How come all three of the specters don't hang out over here anymore? All right, whatever. I'm gonna travel. I'm gonna go try and find that girl's house. Wait, is that her? Did she die? I'm so confused right now. No, that's not her. Hmm, interesting. I have no idea where she lives. She might not even have a house. I think we might be able to summon her from the mailbox. 
Donate lost soul to science. I wonder what do we what do we do with souls? Why is why does Greg have hair on? What is going on with my werewolves right now? Oh, I can summon Grim if I want to. But this is through MC Command Center, by the way. Okay, there she is. So Mira Gomez. I'm um, inviting her over so that we can finish this freaking favor. Gosh darn, we've had this forever. Um, deliver death flower. Hey, I finally have that flower you asked me for like ages ago. Thank you. I did it. We got the magician. All right, Lydia has succeeded in helping a member of the Order of Lenore. Cool, and she just immediately hops on our computer. <laughs> All right, so we have work in two hours, but the next thing that we have to do is find Freddy. How many tarot cards do we have now? 12. 12 out of 26. Oh my goodness, 26. How the heck are we gonna do that? All right, she is off to work again. See, I only see two specters. Where's the third one? I think that's the one that I need to talk to, but he's just gone. Dude, this guy again? You gotta be kidding me. You're joking, right? Nah. All right, yes? No. Okay, let's go jogging. Let's try and get our um, fitness skill up one more time. Cause we keep going to work and we're not getting promoted. It doesn't help that we're exhausted. Oh my gosh, help me. This is so hard. Almost there. We were up before the sun today. Oh no, girl. If you think you're done, you are not done. One more time. You got this. Yes. Yes. We freaking did it. Okay. Hold on. Pause. Hey, Edith. What's up, girl? How are you doing today? Oh, we always talk to her when we stink. Look, I'm really sorry about that. Okay, she she did not like that. Probably because we stink. It is what it is. Okay, I'm asking for the mark again so that we can have another wish. Let's wish for easier to manage needs, perhaps. We've already wished for career success, skill gains, and riches. So let's do the skills or the needs one. Uh, Lydia tosses a coin in the well so you can now feel her needs recharging. How refreshing. Dope. All of our needs? Doesn't look like it. Nope. Just energy, bladder, hunger. Why not hygiene? Oh, okay. There goes. There goes. Okay. Perfect timing because <laughs> we got to go to... We gotta go to work. Okay, well that's kind of a, a cool way to do it. You can just go to the well and wish for wish for your, your needs to go up if you ever need it. It's kind of what I was hoping that the tree, Alice's tree thing would do, but... Ghosts only, apparently! Oh my god, wait, it's Ravenwood's family day? Is the other specter gonna be there? They usually hang out over here. No, I still only see the two. This is very strange, you guys. Oh! Is that you? You hiding? Oh my god, he is hiding. Okay, he's over here by this tree. All right. Oh my god, her needs aren't going down, you guys. Oh, thank god. We can finally get some stuff done for 15 hours. That's what I'm... <gasps> Let's go! Okay, funeral director and mortician. Yes, we decided on the mortician career. Morticians embody the science science side of death. They're likely to endure wacky chemical fumes and make up mishaps while regularly getting the cold shoulder from clients. Ultimately, they'll need to excel in preparations for any wake without waking the dead. Okay, I assume that she's gonna need workaholic lifestyle. I assume she's gonna need a uh, logic skill. All right, oh my God, look at her outfit. <gasps> goodness look at you you look great oh with the moon and everything oh yeah i actually really like that career outfit it's quite nice all right chat with freddie i've been looking for you everywhere you're not hanging out with the other two specters what happened you guys are usually all around each other all the time were you hiding from me be honest no aya yamaguchi Painting skill? Okay, I can see that. I can see that. Okay, what do we do now? Oh, ask about Alice's sorrow. So cute, dude. 
Alice? Hmm, Alice. Alice! She was my mother! I remember her face as much as I remember my sim nature, which is to say, not much at all. There's one thing I do remember, though, her unconditional love. All right, next up, we gotta find Anne. Always by my side, but now remote and at peace. Surrounded by fields and water and island, find Anne's gravestone. Oh, I know exactly where that is. Yep. Okay, Whispering Glen. Remember it was that random gravestone? that I was like, why are you buried all the way out here? Huh? Huh? It always comes back. All right, now to find where that was. There you are, read epitaph. And dedicated her life to the education of children. She inspired so many. She was one sim everyone agreed on. And it's the full moon reverie tonight. Don't know if I wanna to go to that again. <laughs> find Edith. I know exactly where she is. I can't believe it. Edith is Alice's daughter. I should have seen that coming. Okay, Miss Edith. <sighs> Time to hear your backstory. Attempt to communicate. Hey, I'm back. Thumbs up first try. She wants to talk about her mama. Hold up, girl. Ask about Alice's sorrow. Gosh, she has so many moodlets right now. Oh, shit. Oh, honey. Mother, she is not the reason I died, no, but I drowned here and I'm now bound to this accursed well forever. Looking for frogs and that is all. All right, now what? Return to Alice? All right, let's do it. All right, here we are. Miss ma'am, I found all your kids. Report findings. Girl, aren't you cold? It's cold and windy outside. You need to change before you die again. Or almost die. Okay. Hello! Oh, she's sitting crisscross applesauce on the floor. A weight has been lifted! I no longer wallow in this ocean of sorrow, unshackled from these chains that kept me down. Thank you. Thank you for finding my children. My guardian tree now opens to you. <gasps> Stop! Look, she's feeling inspired now. Aww. What can we do? We can refill needs! What the? I thought that was only for a ghost. It's not like we need it right now, but scavenge? Did she just go in it? Check your inventory, kiddo. What did we get? Cherries? A grow fruit? <gasps> she just propositioned us. What is it with ghosts and, and Lydia? They just love her. They absolutely love her. What else can we do with this tree? Today is a, ooh, she, all right. I clicked listen to whispers. Today is a full moon, so here's what I can share with you, kiddo. You probably want to know more about the ancestor. You know the giant face carved into the side of that cliff in Whispering Glen? The scrappity restroom, the scribbly toilet, or whatever you kids call, whatever you kids call complete monstrosities these days. I'm so old, my limbs creak and groan, and even I have no idea who that's supposed to be. It's been here as long as anyone can remember. The local sims all gather to dance or something at the Moon Revelry Hooligans. All I can say is I would rather whoever carved it had left that dang cliff alone. The landscape would be, would have been better with a more natural beauty like me. Interesting. Hang on a second. Let me, let me, uh, let me set my bladder to 50. And then let's see what this refill needs thing does. If it'll, if it'll refill it. Yup. That's insane, dude. That's actually insane. The tree is magically taking care of all of Lydia's basic needs. Bladder, contents evaporated. Hunger, belly is now full of something. Kind of disturbing, but okay. Energy, not sure what magic is flowing in her veins right now, but feeling good. Fun, if going into a tree and getting needs sorted out isn't fun, then what do kids today consider fun anymore? Social, Lydia's internal monologue got externalized during the entire experience. Hygiene, bathed in sap and looking beautiful. Oh my God! That's amazing. I'm so stoked right now. I'm so excited. We have two days off. All right, let's go home. We did it guys, we did the damn thing. That is honestly OP, especially for rags to riches. Like, are you kidding me right now? Come on, I should have done that first and foremost. All right. Now we have to achieve level six fitness and level two painting. So we might as well take uh, take advantage of our uh, moodlets being filled constantly and just get those skills up. We can focus on our job a little more. We're level five. It's ladies night. 
and the feeling's right. Oh yes, it's ladies' night. Oh what a night! Keep going, keep jogging. We did it. We did it. Fitness level six. Okay, hold up. There's an easel right here, so we might as well use this. I assume we have to get our painting ups, our painting skill up, because we have to like do makeup and stuff on on the corpses. Prank day. Ugh. We are making so much money. We've almost made back all of the money that we spent in the, the beginning of the episode. Oh, I totally forgot about this package as well. Let's open that up. More fish? Are you kidding? A cupcake. Oh, two cupcakes and three fish. I, I don't understand. Also, what can we do with this soul? Doesn't look like anything. Quite interesting. Try before you die casket sale. That's one thing that we haven't done. Oh, it's not happening today. Okay, that's fine. Not the spoiled boiling death frog hot pot. Oh, also we bought a crow. What do we do with it and where is it? Oh, it's probably in our household inventory. Okay, let me take that out. Oh my gosh. I don't know where to put it. I'm just gonna put it right there. Yeah, that works fine. Okay, what can we do with it? Let's find out. Okay, you can stop reading that now. So we have ourselves a pet crow. We can name him Lenore. I'm gonna name him Tim Burton. Why not? All right, Tim Burton, what can we do? Socialize. Oh, um, where did you go? He just flies around our house. Hello? I didn't realize he would just take off like that. Your crow is off communing with the crow collective. Wait for them to return. What's the crow collective? Is that these guys over here? I really don't, I don't understand. Is this a club? Bison stew. Is that a lote? That's so random. That is so random. Oh, this is a funeral? How come I can offer my sympathies? What, Mateo? Jaden, you are such a great pair. Who's Jade? The crow's back. Hi. Oh my God, not her whispering to it. What was that? We got a tarot card from that? No way. That's amazing. The crow's actually really cute. I'm not gonna lie. I like him. Send on Crow Collective Recon Mission. Oh, welcome back. Did you bring me something? Take offered gift. Wait, hold up. We regret to inform that Smeagy yet again managed to get his head stuck in a trash bin while on patrol in Ward Park. Unfortunately, while we were able to provide immediate assistance in the matter of this in the matter the scene was spotted by one Dirk Dreamer who has shared an image off to Instagram. What? I'm so confused. Okay, what did we get as a gift? A quartz? Thank you. It's really sweet of you. Teach mimicry. <gasps> This is actually so cute. <laughs> gift, gift. Let's give him a death frog. Oh, look at the little box. You loved it. He loved it. Wow. Deviously fine. Look at our look at our relationship bar with him's already. It's really good. That is so cute. Who the heck was that? No. Can't you see we're trying to bond with our bird? Who are you whispering to? Oh my goodness. I'm gonna play this music box. I want to see what it sounds like. Oh my god, look at the little grim in there. Oh, I think she likes it. How long does it play for? Exciting thing nearby. All right, well, let's work on our bucket list stuff, shall we? We have nothing else to do, which is honestly insane. Um, so we need to work on our mixology skill. We need to go spend the day in Chestnut Ridge, throw a spooky party, and cross-stitch. Yes. Go for it, dude. Okay, well, the cross-stitching one is easy. I need to get her a bar cart, and I need to get her a cross-stitching basket. I think I'll just put the bar cart in her, uh, in her office. Actually, I'll just put it in the kitchen. There's so much more room in here. Okay, and then the cross-stitching basket. It's gotta be somewhere in here. Yep, you're going right by the rocking chair. Okay, cool. We do have a 
Do we have a day off tomorrow? Oh shoot, we gotta go back to work tomorrow. Dang it! All right, no worries. I'm wondering, do we have to max it? Reach cross stitch level five, stitch a masterpiece and declare life's greatest stitch work. I love her little house so much, it's so cute. I wanna put some more uh, art on the walls. Let's do one of these, another tarot card, cause why not? Ooh, that one's cool, it's kind of scary. And then legacy family portrait. I don't know what that looks like, but let's put one. Oh, it's just a picture of her. Oh, sorry, that's that's way too silly. Maybe just some like, like a hole in the wall. I don't know, does that look weird? Okay, I'm getting rid of that. All right, that looks pretty good. Ooh, wow. Five and a half, look at her. Oh, hey, Crow. Yeah, I don't know if I wanna complete our soul's journey while we're still alive or if we should die first and then complete it because isn't the whole point of like playing as a ghost is to like finish your soul's journey because you didn't get to finish it when you were alive all right i do want to do some more errands so let me find that uh tarot tome or whatever that lists them all this one right here um i want to do an errand from each member okay esther gomez nyron nyon bell okay so, acting as a vessel for favors, perform society member tasks to receive a piece of the puzzle. Go to Ravenwood festivals, find the helpers, and learn about the tasks. All right, dope. Well, in the next one, uh, we can go to more festivals and try to find the other two people. We still need to do uh, this ghost girl and this guy right here. I don't know if we need to do like a bunch of tasks for each of them or just one each. I'm not really sure. I'm trying to figure it out. So yeah, in the next one, we'll try and meet those two. And then we're just gonna keep working on our career. I really wanna max that as well. We've already done our aspiration. We've done Alice's Sorrow. We still need to, uh, I don't know. I don't know if I want to enter a relationship in this Let's Play. You guys are gonna have to let me know in the comments if you would like to see that. I think that when Lydia passes away, we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna turn her into a ghost and still keep playing. Cause I do wanna explore like the ghost tree, like the ghost power tree and all that good stuff. I'm sure you guys wanna see that too. And then who knows, we might get reborn after that, but I doubt I'll play, I'll continue this as a reborn sim, but I do wanna do it. Cause I wanna see like what it looks like. That's what we got planned for the rest of this let's play. I hope that you guys are still enjoying it. I'm gonna leave this part right here. I love you guys so much. As always, leave me comments, let me know what you think, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.